Yo, what's up with it? This your boy Nooney. This is Leo in the third house. Back with another reading. This is going to be a, another random reading, but it's not going to be too random. Because it's the last sign. Last sign we got is... Gemini. So, we don't even got to play no games, Gemini. This is great. Alright, so we get to be direct with you. What we got going on today for you? Anyway, thanks to all my likes, subscribers, new subscribers. What's up with you? Appreciate that y'all here. Love that y'all comment and get involved. I be trying to do my best to, uh, that was too many. We try to do my best to comment back, at least like, you know what I mean? I love engaging with y'all. You know, this is something I was happy to do. So we're all healing together. I'm glad you're here with me, healing. So, fiery climax approaches. Could be dealing with an Aries. But uh, I get that maybe this is something that you, I'm not going to say that you've harped on it for too long. You might be a little overzealous. You might be moving too quickly in this situation. All right. You might say something or do something that you don't intentionally mean. I like get impulsive energy. All right. And I just gave you that intimacy having to do with a relationship. All right. You might be thinking this is too good to be true. But a true statement is this only can get better. So you might be impulsively wanting to move forward or do something or communicate something. All right. So allowing yourself to experience more joy and love, raise your resonance by swimming in the sweetness of life. So I'm getting like going with the flow. It's a lot of sexual energy as well. All right. So this is a good moment. This is a good, a good situation that you got going on. So let's get started. What deck I want to use. Let's use my original. My first deck ever. Right away. So... Let's see what you got going on, Gemini. Allow yourself to experience more joy and love. Raise your resonance by swimming in the sweetness of life. Yeah. So I'm getting that things are going to pick up as well. All right. Could be in a relationship or just how, how close you allow other people to get to you. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Okay. All right, so get off the, right off the bat, I get this energy of you not being content. You come into this reading not being, uh, like feeling like you're not able to express yourself or feeling like, uh, I'm getting like you might be dumbing yourself down the way that you're, that you're expressing yourself. All right, I'm gonna give you two because it came out. So nothing, yeah, so you need to go with the flow. And your advice is bring love into the situation. Nothing is set in stone as well as the emperor in reverse, which is letting go of control, all right? Not having to think so far down the line. Like, you know, not really planning for too far. And it's an energy of needing to detach from this, uh, I'm getting like this, um, that's probably the biggest part that you have. It's like a, con a control aspect, you know? It's some type of lust that you have and maybe you wanna control this person. You could be dealing with the Aries, or just a masculine figure who you feel who uh, they may be a little bit unstable, but they have the ability to to basically amass a fortune. All right, could be dealing with someone like that, or you could just be dealing with a father figure. You know, but you're um, it's letting you know basically to release the the need to control the dynamic. All right, so you got an energy as well of uh, wanting to speak out or still kind of being trapped in your head, but maybe. I'm not gonna say overthinking it, but it's like you wanna you wanna address the situation or you wanna like go out on the limb, but you know you're reserved. You're you're basically kind of like holding yourself back. You know, and it's what you need to do is just let go of control of the situation. You're trying to cons control either how they perceive you, how people are perceiving you, or how this person is perceiving you. Could be dealing with a Capricorn as well, could be dealing with a fire signs and Leo, or you could be dealing with a Pisces. And I got two card two signs of a uh, Leo. I got Aquarius as well, and I got Aries. So these people could be involved in this situation as well, or this could just be the energy that they're taking on. You know, maybe very charming, maybe outgoing, maybe a bit controlling, maybe a bit stubborn. You know, uh, maybe they might come off as, you know, as, as they're in control. This could be that type of person, you know, as well as they express themselves, but it's like on and off. You know, the, the energy I'm getting here is an on and off situation, all right? I'm getting like it's on and off. 
And there's just this fear of you like wanting to share your emotions, but fearing that maybe you haven't learned from the last time that you shared your emotions. All right. That's what I'm getting like a fear. It's a fear of like of, of being like snaked or backstabbed or like deceived or tricked. You have a fear of it when you share your emotions. All right. And it's just telling you like to go along with the life of, of the, like go along with life, like just swim in the sweetness of the good situation that it is right now. You're not super content about it because there's an element of you either trying to control it or them trying to control it. It's like an ego battle. That's what I'm getting. It's an ego battle. And if you're in there with a the Capricorn, you might not win because their ego is big. Somebody else was just telling me, I was watching another reader one day and they said uh, that Capricorn uh, has a bigger ego. Well, I was telling them that Capricorn does have a bigger, a bigger ego than a Leo. But they were saying that um, that is true, that Capricorn really doesn't recognize when it's time to back down. But Leo does. And so in this case, if you're having an ego battle with a Capricorn, they may not know how to back down. That's their that's their their Achilles heel. So be aware of that if that's who you're dealing with. If you're dealing with a Leo, they may realize that this is a winning or lose situation and they may back down. All right. But you are needing to release the control of this situation right now. All right. You can't control the outcome of how it's going to be or you can't control the outcome of the dynamic of the relationship or you can't control how others are perceiving you when you express your emotions. But you have a fear of, you know, basically being like taken advantage of. All right. So it kind of closes you off, you know, and it, and it makes you seem kind of shallow. That's what I'm getting, because it's like you're not allowing people to go deep with you. You have emotions, but it's, the way that you're like the way that you're expressing it, it's not really clear. Like you're, it's kind of like covert. It's never really direct, you know, man. Then when you do, it's more playful or charming. It's never really uh, like direct, you know, except for when you want to express your emotions, then you do express them lovingly, like nurturing wise. You know, you care about people. You have that energy of caring about people and, you know, having like an intuitive like nudge or intuitive knowing of what people need. Like you just naturally know what people need. That's the energy I get. You know what to give, you know what to do for them. And you also, I, so I'm also getting like an energy of you also having like um, maybe a slightly toxic side. You know, maybe you indulge or um, sex is a big thing because I see the devil, devil in reverse. But you may not be uh, a sex addict or maybe you could be a sex addict. Maybe sex is your big thing, you know. Um, but it's like expression that so all, all around you I'm getting like, you're, you're like afraid to express yourself to just kind of like just enjoy yourself. This is a good moment because it's here, but you're not you're afraid to express yourself. You're, you're acting more reserved while happiness is going on. You know, so that's what's keeping you from actually being happy. You're more reserved in the middle of the happiness. You have the sun right here, but it's in reverse. So you're just discontent with the happiness that's coming in. And that's really where you started off with the reading is, is being discontent and being more reserved in the situation. You know, seeming kind of closed off and not, you know, maybe more stuck in your head or more isolated to yourself. People get, they look at you as more uh, anxious or more, you know, flighty, like maybe wanting to get away from people or, or unsure of them, maybe a little timid, you know, but they see that you do want to engage. So, so your advice is to let go of control and not having people maybe con con like, you don't want, maybe you, you don't need people to perceive you as being in control. Maybe you want them to perceive you as having control or being in control of things, but maybe it's better to allow them to see you without having control of everything. Maybe not being a know-it-all or maybe not being, you know, so demanding because that might be some of the energy that you have, but being too demanding, too controlling, you know, maybe even too possessive, you know, um, but bringing love into the situation. So you might have been too attached to the outcome of what you expected this to be or how you expect things to be. And you're needing to detach from them and kind of allow them to just be as they are and observe them and appreciate them. Go with the flow. Nothing is set in stone. That's that's the advice. Go with the flow. Let go of control. Bring love into the situation. Detach from how you want other people to see you. Detach from how you know, you're trying to, to put on either a facade or, or a mask to other people as if you have it under control. All right. Now, there's the energy of you detaching from that. Like you want to get free of this. You want to get free of this bondage. All right. That's the devil in reverse. You want to get free of this bondage and this feeling of needing to put on put on this this armor. That's why I get like you want to put like it's you putting on your armor, you know, so you're trying to block off this. And maybe you're thinking of creative ways to either express yourself. 
to this person or you're blocking that part of all oh yeah you're blocking that part of yourself off that's going to be cool that's going to be cool if you do do that you know but you don't have to necessarily block off any part of yourself you just have to be more malleable more flowing with it so sometimes you'll fluctuate between being you know controlling sometimes you'll fluctuate to leaving or losing control or letting go of control you know it comes with with work and effort you know you have a, an energy of wanting to engage and wanting to actually go forward with it you know it's like you've you've already crossed your threshold of pain or you've already crossed your threshold and boundary so you're willing to pursue something you just feel like maybe you're you, you just come off a little shallow and a little like it's like it's like you don't allow people to see you you you, you stay quiet you don't really do a lot of talking you know what i mean you're the, the high priestess you don't do a lot of talking you know things and you have a lot a lot of knowing like an inner knowing but you don't really say too much you're just kind of like reserved and that you know it gives us in this in this like impression that you are kind of shallow and that you don't want people to really get to know you but when they get to talk to you when you do communicate your feelings you're really deep you're really a nurturing you know you're really emotional people can relate to you you're really empathetic to people you know you just have a fear that when you do this that either people will shut you down and you feel closed off or you're afraid that that uh that you may not, that you've been like snake before. So it's like you might have been deceived before, tricked or taken advantage of, and you have a fear of people taking advantage of you when you express these emotions, all right? But that's what's keeping you unhappy right now because you're fearing, you know, someone else taking, taking advantage of you, of, of your emotions. But these are your emotions. If you're offering them freely, it's not being taken advantage of. You know, you were doing a good gift. You were doing a good, a good uh, deed for the world whenever you share loving emotions with someone else. All right, and then you have your inner strength. So your outcome is you taking action of actually like bringing in the strength, like bringing in the, the uh, I always say the wherewithal, you know, which is um, basically like pulling from like the, the lower regions of yourself or pulling from those, those, those far regions of this within yourself and basically expressing yourself, like getting over that fear, taking action to get over that fear of possibly being taken advantage of or being deceived or duped. You know what I mean? Or possibly even scaring other people off when you share your emotions. You're not going to scare other people off. That's just something that you've told yourself. That's just a story that you've told yourself. Allow yourself to just flow with life. Right? Allow this to just take shape of it. You can't control everything. You can't control whether people come or leave in your life. You can only leave the door open if you choose to. All right? Because the energy of you wanting to engage with others is just like you're kind of scared. You know, you're kind of worried. You know, and they see it in you too. They see that from you. And they see that you're just like so reserved or so calm or so chill. You know, and there's happiness going on around you, but you're not happy because you're too reserved. You're too stone-like. You don't say much with others. You know, you keep things within yourself, but you're really breaming and deeply filled with emotions. That's what I'm getting. Like you're filled with emotions and lust. A lot of lust and attraction. And, and you know things about like, the physical and about the spiritual world like you know you're very well in the know and you express yourself but it just feels like when you express yourself it just seems like it's not the best of your ability when you do express yourself you come off charismatic and childlike but you know it just seems like you don't really express yourself in the way that you would like to express yourself it comes off shallow it comes off as as not as um as deep as people know you are because sometimes when you speak when you actually share your feelings people realize how deep you really are you just have that fear of people deceiving you or getting over on you so that's what kind of closes you off and has you feeling you know kind of off standoffish all right but it's basically just giving you the advice of bringing love into the situation so detaching from the outcome or how you think things should be or how you feel that things should pan out when you express your feelings, all right? And just going with the flow. Just, just you know, sometimes it's high, sometimes it's low, sometimes it works out, sometimes it don't, but you just go along with it because each of it is here to teach you a lesson and improve your, you know, your relationships. It's gonna improve the relationship with yourself first and then they improve the relationship with the world as a large, at whole, around you, all right? Friends, family, associates, business partners, whoever else, you know, stranger on the street. It's gonna change once you start actually going with the flow within your life and detaching from how you expect things to be, you know, and analyze them and expect them to be a certain way, then you'll be able to, uh, you'll basically like gain the inner strength to basically move forward and take action on the things that you really want to take action on. But right now, you're just being too reserved, you know, and, and it's making you appear shallow and standoffish. And that's why you're not really enjoying yourself as much as you would like to.
You're not able to express yourself as much as you would like to. You feel that you're not able to express yourself, but you can. It's just that you're more focused on like inner your inner world. You know, you're more you may be too self-aware. You might be more aware of what's going on within you than you are about what's going on around the situation, around, around with people around you. So it makes you seem shallow as if you don't care about their about them or what they're saying. And then when you do communicate, it doesn't seem like it's like it's too it's nothing serious. It's not about like serious matters. When you do actually communicate how you feel with people, it's more like passionate and it's like curious and it's just outgoing. You just seem more outgoing is the energy I get. You're more outgoing. You know, it seems like you don't take things serious. You know, that's what I get. It's like you hold yourself back. So it's letting you know like to, to let go of the control. You don't have to put on an image or the facade as always being in control or always being in emperor mode. You don't always have to do that. You know, so don't don't try to control the dynamic or how others see you. Just go with the flow. You know, people recognize how deep you really are. You know, you can't hide that. You really can't hide that. All right. We got some more advice. Let's see what other advice you got. Oh, that was quick. So you have ignite and you might be asking, where do I go from here then? So the oil you should be using is blue tansy, T-A-N-S-Y. Never heard of it. A true statement, I allow life to flow through me. Yo, this goes right here with nothing set in stone. This is all about you just allowing life to flow around you. And even here it says, allow yourself to express more joy and love. Raise your resonance by swimming in the sweetness of life. Life can only get better. You know, you might be thinking that all oh, this is too good to be true, but it's not true. That's not true. What's true is that life can only get better. All right. You don't have to put on a facade. You don't need others to see you in a certain light for you to be who you want to be or for you to express yourself. You don't always have to be in control. You know what I mean? You can let go of these habits. You can let go of this, this effort of needing to control, this obsessiveness of needing to be in control, to control how others see you, to control the dynamic of relationships, to control the outcomes. You can't control those things. You can only control your half of anything. So only work with what you have. All right. Allow when we release control of how others perceive you or how others may take you, all right? Just go with the flow. Those who those who matter will stick around and those who don't like what you got going on, they're gonna leave your life and that's what you want, all right? So this is what you have, true student, a true statement, allow life to flow through me, all right? I allow life to flow through me, that's your true statement. You're allowing life to just go, to just flow. You're not trying to control or hold on to anything. You're not trying to force a square into a round hole. You're letting life be as it is. All right. Inspiration has arrived and you will work through it as you move forward. Yeah. You're going with the flow. This is igniting you. All right. Time to take action. A fiery climax approaches. Ignite. You know what I mean? This is all telling you to go with the flow and get started now. Pronto. Today. As soon as you log off. As soon as you boop. All right. That was the end of that reading. Great reading, Noonie. As soon as this is over, ignite it. Start it. All right. So, uh. That's what I got. I got you having the inner strength to do this, to actually take the action, all right? By letting go of the outcome or the expectation of an outcome, by letting getting, letting go of the facade of always feeling like you have control of everything, by trying to put on the, the image of I'm always in control, I'm always, I'm always cool, I'm always reserved, I know what to do. No, none of us are perfect. We all don't know what to do. We're all out here on our first time, some of us multiple times. But, but right now, as far as we know, this is our first time. So you're not gonna always get it right. And, you know, and when you express yourself, people aren't always gonna see you in the best light. And people are always gonna express the same emotions back to you. And that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. They don't have to. You're not controlling that. What you're controlling is the experience. What experiences do you wanna see? You know, and you get that by being at peace right here and going with the flow. So your card you got right here is peace. Calm your thoughts and move your awareness to a peaceful space inside your heart. Feel the ebb and flow of love, the eternal movement of the stars. Your life is forever unfolding to greater spheres of love. Relax and do not worry about anything, for all is well. You will soon enter a time of well-earned peace and tranquility. Relax, go with the flow, but take action now on letting go of control. That's important. You can't control how others see you. You can't control how others will be reactive to you. 
That's not your job. Your job is to express yourself and be the best version of you so that the world can get the best version of you, all right? Because you have a mission out here. You have a job out here to do, and you need to clock in. All right, so you have balance. Difference is a necessary part of human evolution. And everything in life is comprised of opposites, which together make life whole. If you light a candle in a room already flooded with light, the light of your candle would be indistinguishable, meaning not noticed, from the light which already exists. Because of darkness, we are able to perceive light. Both are necessary. So I'm getting, just be you. Go with the flow. The people who are meant to see you will see you. The people who don't get your vibe won't stay long. And that's great. All right, but you're gonna have the inner strength. I'm getting once you release the, uh, release like expecting certain outcomes of life and once you just learn to just go with the flow and allow life to just flow for you and allow things to just go into the place that they're meant to be and not trying to force a square into a round hole you'll have the inner strength to express your emotions the way that you would like to to be nurturing to be creative to be giving you know and loving but you do it with yourself first so allow yourself to be okay with not having the control and not being knowing of everything you don't have to know everything because the impression you give from others is that you know everything and that you don't need them, that you're kind of shallow, you know, and that you're, you're unsure about them or you're unsure about communicating or expressing yourself with them. They see you this way, all right? So find some peace within yourself and get started on letting go of control today. Let go of control right now. All right, Gemini, thanks for watching. This is your boy, Nooney, and this is Leo in the third house.